Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into this, Cancer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Amen. All right, so Cancer. Um, you don't know how to find your way back or, or somebody around you doesn't know how to find their way back to you. you they feel like it's a missed opportunity. They didn't see the blessing that was before them initially, but now they see it, they understand it. Um, they feel like they missed out on a uh, prime opportunity, which is you or vice versa. This is how you feel. Somebody feels like they missed out on their foundation, uh, um, their uh, better half, their, that feminine energy. Because it is coming up as feminine. It could be um, same-sex connection also. So someone could feel us if they missed out on you or vice versa. Um, let's see what's going on for you this week. Let's see what the situation is for cancer this week. What's the situation? Okay. Yeah, the king of cups. All right, so somebody has a lot of love. A lot of love for... Um, yeah. So the kings, uh, they rule the fours, okay, of the deck. So the four and the four talks about mother of, motherly energy, women, children, feminine energy. So the, this king has a lot of love for maybe a feminine energy. Even if it is same sex, somebody is coming up as, you know, more masculine, more dominant. There's a king of uh, cups coming up here. Someone has a lot of unexpressed love, unexpressed emotions, too. It's just like they just keep harboring the emotions. They won't say it. They won't act on it. And they just want to stay balanced and, um, you know, keep it all to themselves with the King of Cups here. It also could be that this person has, you know, a love for, their love is plural at this point. You know, it's for... A, a certain someone and another person and another thing, you know. Um, this person may even keep people around to feed their ego. This could be a Libra man here also. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces highlighted. There's somebody who has a lot of love for you. Or this is how you feel, um, Cancer. Let's see what the advice is here. Yeah, the Four of Cups, I knew it was going to come out because someone is feeling like they lost out on the opportunity. They missed out. They, um, they missed the boat. They don't know how to get it back. They don't know how to get this energy back. They don't know how to bring it back about. They don't know what to do. They were being so self-centered, so focused on themselves that they... They miss the blessing that was before them. Um, now they're greatly dissatisfied, remorseful, um, regretful, regretful of how somebody treated the other person. Also, somebody treated the other person like an option. Um, someone also wanted to be in this long-term. A dating situation, having no real turnover, or making no real milestone in the connection, like getting engaged, moving in together, having a baby, buying a cat, buying a dog, I don't know, somebody, they didn't want to do anything with this person that will, that will be a marker in the connection, in the relationship here. So it looks like somebody went their own way here, they, they left with the Four of Cups here, somebody had a change of journey, maybe even change of home or residence here. What's the outcome here for cancer? What's going on this week for cancer? Lots of love, lots of emotions, unexpressed, repressed, depression. Um, somebody beating themselves up emotionally. Let's see. What is going on for cancer? What's the outcome? The Six of Pentacles is the outcome. Somebody's waiting. Oh, so, okay. Okay. The, um, now we have a, a King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and this is a male Cancer. Okay. Um, we've got a very dynamic 
duo, or this could be same-sex relationship, or this could be two, a masculine and a feminine um, coming up in that king energy to where they've kind of got their own um, foundations separate from each other, their own homes, their own lives. Um, in their heart space, it is divided or there's division. There's something about uh, space, time that has elapsed to where somebody is doing for themselves and they're caring for themselves and other people around them and they're not worried about the other person with the two kings coming up. There's also somebody here who has a lot of passion, a lot of desire uh, for the other person or vice versa. Lots of love, lots of passion, lots of emotion and passion. The both of you come up in the king energy, some, the both of you feel like you're not going to move because you both feel like you shouldn't because you're both kings. So it's either same sex or you're both at a place where you built yourself up to a place where I'm, I'm not going to concede. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to. This is how you and another person feel. The six of pentacles in the outcome, the power dynamic is off. The, the, the structure that somebody built is off. Uh, so we'll talk about power dynamics in the, in the uh, six of pentacles. There's typically one person given to two beggars, right? To two people who are in need. I don't know if it's that the person who left the connection uh, felt like there was another party involved, so they left. And they left that person who was trying to play two people. Um, they left them to their own devices. They left them to a one-on-one -on -one connection. And I don't think this person wanted a one-on-one -on -one connection with anyone, any person. They wanted that power dynamic of feeling needed in two different directions and two different with two different people. So the power dynamic is off. It looks like when that person left, they took their power with them, and it and it left the person who felt like, oh, I've got more than one person. It left them feeling powerless, lack. There's also a displacement of emotions now. When the other person, okay, so let's say there's somebody here in this connection. You can't say another person, I don't know. You have more than one option that you were giving to, okay? One of your options leaves, okay? You only have one option left. You have to deal with that person one on one. The other option, the other person who left or, or whatnot, they took their power with them, um, and now the power dynamic has shifted. It is off. When they were in the connection with you, okay, and uh, they were waiting for you to give them whatever it is you can give them, uh, they felt like they weren't getting enough. They didn't have enough. Um, they felt like they were an option. Uh, they felt like you held the power in this connection. You you. The, you told when you, we would be together, you made the plans, you did this, you did that, or vice versa. This is how the person felt about you. Um, now, that's been displaced. Now, it looks like whomever got left, now they feel the adverse. They feel like, well, I'm just waiting for this person to tell me that we're back on or that they're going to come back or that they're going to give me something. They're going to give me a little bit of energy, you know, a little bit of their time, a little bit of their emotions. So now this person, the power dynamic has shifted to where now the other person is waiting, waiting for just enough. When it used to be, you know, um, whomever left, it used to be them waiting for just enough. Um, getting somebody's divided attention divided effort because they were giving us something else or somebody else also let's get you a moonology card here. the outcome is the six of pentacles there's problems in this connection they need to be addressed somebody it's a, it's a I, I will go as far to say it's a power struggle um yeah, with the two kings coming up to power struggle, 
the power dynamic has shifted. Somebody feels like, no, no, I'm the one with all the power. I call the shots. I'm the boss here. But now it's not that, you know? So let's see. Yeah, step out of your comfort zone, your north node. So some of you need to go and research cafe astrology. Go to cafe astrology. Put in all of your um, your specifics in terms of your, where you were born and so forth. Learn your north node, okay? Because this is what you should be aspiring to be in this lifetime. What whatever sign is in your north node. You should be trying to aspire to those personality traits, to what that sign is all about. So you need to learn your North Node. Also at the bottom of the deck you have uh, Believe in the Impossible, a blue moon. So once in a blue moon, something, I don't know if it's that this person will come back, you'll go back, I don't know. For the both of you coming up as two kings. So, you know, let's just think about it on a realistic, you know, a realistic plane if there were still kings and queens in this very day when have you ever seen another king willingly voluntarily go to another king or bow to that king or just concede to that king it just doesn't happen that way um, so it's like both of you coming up in that masculine energy and you're, you're both being unmovable unwavering you kind of um, mirroring each other. No, no one is going to reach out. No one is going to talk. No one is. So I don't know somebody's got to. Um, somebody's got to concede. Somebody's got to give up. It says once in a blue moon. Wow. So maybe um, it will happen for you. Then we got a new start. It's coming. New moon. Wow. Conclusions are in reach. So something will conclude. This is the conclusion to this story. So that means it's the end. Or maybe you'll start another story. You'll rewrite. I don't know. Or it'll just be the end. Um, but right now, for both of you, there's somebody not moving. Okay, somebody wants to come to the other person with their heart in their hand, but they're not doing it. Because both of you are... Wow. Both of you are... Um, stubborn right now you don't feel like you should you don't feel like you should the other person doesn't feel like they should but there's still an air and energy of waiting somebody wants to be forgiven and they want to um, they want to be taken back take me back now take me out of this misery that is not knowing not being able to be intimate with you to be next to you to be in the same space as you to have fun with you to have sex with you to indulge with you somebody wants to compromise now it looks like somebody's gonna get to a place of compromise what can i do to bring this back wow because somebody's gonna see this in a different light and then that's going to bring in the feminine energy here where someone can say, okay, now we can talk. But as long as um, the two of you are coming up as kings, nobody's going to move. All right, so this is your reading, Cancer. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.